Hello and welcome. So, in this episode we will do what I was saying about <coughs> in the last video. We've got a um, we've got a parcel parcel which is supposed to contain Xbox One S. So let's check if that's the case because that's the One X which haven't come yet officially on eBay I mean I'll show you the auction I didn't do a great deal it's just that I didn't have any spare parts for them and I want to fix them for local customers so let us see what has been sent to us if it's the Xbox One S or not how it's looking like okay let's let's go further and uh, doesn't show yeah it, it, it is not digital the regular one with a blu-ray open it doesn't have any weird smells at this moment so that's a good sign you would be surprised so many items come in with moisture um, smell or with packs you know, people are smoking and so on whereas this one is supposed to have only removed the, the hard drive uh, and that's it that that should be the case so we will see if that's the case or we've been screwed and somebody couldn't even open properly I'll show it here you see mm, you can see that it was damaged the person who was doing it they didn't know how to open Xbox One S that's what it is people just don't want a YouTube simple things and then you end up with destroyed item okay that's where you are just don't like to make more harm than it is yeah okay clickable clickable so the eject button and the synchronized button are, are okay let us do this assembly mm can use this but I'd rather use the plastic ones I don't like to start off of this uh, this corner I can start start of any other and that's fine but that corner is the last one to, to open and I like to put some extra pressure It's damaged here anyway, so but we can we can go on the sides even. That's fine. Mm. It's no big deal if you know how to do it. And if you don't know, YouTube will show you. Oh, look, I've damaged my... What's the time for it? Yeah, that's why I like to use the metal one, but I don't want to make more damage. That's the problem. get no patience ask someone to give you a hand who has a patience you see and now you can take it off unfortunately this one is something which you unlikely to fix because that's the plastic and 
you could try to hot glue it or you could try to just melt it but I don't know what will be the outcome of this I haven't tried it yet so I can't tell you now this was open so I wouldn't expect anything to grate and uh, what I'm wishing and hoping for is that only missing hard drive nothing else so we will see so we're taking uh, too big too big we're taking all the green tea screws out no the screwdriver has unscrew itself so if the blurry edition the problem which we might have is that if there would be any issues with a chipset which is married to the motherboard we won't be able to fix it and with this one I can show you the option I'll, I can take all these green ones at least out I can share the screen with you okay so that's that's the one for 49 pounds and let's see what it was scroll um, so I'm selling my son's Xbox this is faulty it has no signal and display no picture before it stopped working the screen was flicker green then back on uh, then it just went black no signal it had looked being by a shop well the shop couldn't even open it properly uh, but they were unable to repair it does not come with a hard drive so the caddy for the hard drive with SATA cable and power cable should be there and uh, drive and it's just the Xbox no leads pads or games it turn on just uh, just no display picture no signal it has been open like i said it has been looked at it's being sold as person repair no refunds on this item upon commenting to buy you agree to these terms please feel free to ask questions i did ask questions um if there is anything else missing but lady said no it shouldn't be missing sorry for my email and so i assume that nothing is missing yes if no I was just literally counting a loss I could um, open a case that it was just hard drive removed if there is anything missing apart from the hard drive <coughs> but would I go for this extra hassle to be true making a trouble to that person and uh, saving maybe tenor maybe and then sending it back whole hassle with it for me and for that person unlikely so probably if the caddy will be missing and anything else won't be missing then i will just you know like forget about it yeah so okay so we've got all green screws out we've got all the metal color uh, screws out mm and take it off because you here if you don't know um, you have those uh, those things which those green screws are holding to so we've got that Xbox which we will be fixing next see that's that's a common thing even however you would have it clean it will be um, it will be dust here so the, the cleanest of xboxes are still not not the cleanest it was open so nobody cared even you know to do that they did give us a caddy look the caddy is here so now the question is <clears throat> did they check with other hard drive because if the hard drive is faulty and if the caddy is faulty i mean the the wiring then it might be it might mean that it won't start as well so i will just go with that flow um, switch it onto my other uh, drive 
okay that's hard drive from same model from one x <coughs> one s sorry okay so this side this side or the other side the other side okay no problem let us plug that in i didn't even check you see uh i didn't even plug it to be true so that will be the first time okay and uh, that will be the first time i'm switching it on and why you're looking at the ceiling can you tell me why you're looking at this thing because my webcam so you haven't seen the sorry about that you haven't seen um what's going on so what what happened actually was um was that i connected different hard drive so i will connect now the um, the power and i'll connect hdmi and hdmi out that's here now will i get any um, picture if i will add you now mm, video yes i got you video capture and i can put here um uh, that's my that's my scope so that's hdmi hdmi okay voila usb yes that yes you got it okay good so you can look and i will add the power cable mm, for it just grab this power cable okay, that one that's fine now i can hook it up mm. It will take me about 30 seconds or even less. Okay, it's here. Plug in. And, and now into the Xbox. And now let's press the power. Doesn't want to go on, to be true. Doesn't want to go on. Oh, sorry. I forgot in, in Xbox One, uh, you've got the, um, how you call it? You've got um, just no touch, it just, you know, go close by. Okay, so definitely there is no signal. It's not changing to any other color. Um, so we can, we can see that there is no signal, literally. Moving the HDMI doesn't do any changes as well okay so we can we can switch it off so I know which um, I'll switch you back on to the to, to the cameras uh, so what it is is I can make uh, can make this screen smaller Let's give us this HDMI again and I ma can make it smaller so you will see everything. Okay, so now you will see if this will turn on. You will see that it is on and I will see it as well and we can see um, the console as well. So okay, so I tried with this disk, yes, and this disk, it's untested, okay? So I'll get it. Xbox One as another hard drive. And that way we can test one more. So let us give it a shot with this one. Don't know if that's the side or that's the side. If that won't, I'm, I'm betting that that's not the case. Okay, so on, on, and let's just press the button. Uh, click, click. Okay. Spinning up. Okay, and just to check the connection, I will just check as well the scope mm. 
okay so we see that there's no uh, no signal for sure i don't have any other disks that was all i had i've got one which is not opened and apart from that i won't have any uh, so i can't i can't test with more for the moment but i don't think there's sense in it to, to test even more i'd say that if it doesn't work it just doesn't work um, what i can only do is i had extra spur lying around okay got it I can plug it in and I'd say that no it, it's not the fault of the hard drive yes that's it let it die let us plug in this so that we see that the signal is going yes you see the HDMI is working yeah, that's okay too much light so we can't see see my so you can see the scope yeah. you can see the screw so you can see that the, the HDMI is working on it and switch off the scope so we know that the connection is okay so this should be not a problem with connection so let's check the last hard drive okay so i took the caddy from this the original caddy now so that one is going back to <coughs> my boiler room because there was a lot of moisture in that laptop uh, in that console sorry i was fixing too many laptops in my life hence why and now if it won't display that means we've got either a timer issue or some other issue which is you know worth to open it further and examine the motherboard okay so we see that clearly it's worth opening so i'll make um i'll make this assembly of this one then we had uh, no luck with any free disk oh well no free disk it means just no free disk it doesn't mean anything bad but sometimes it's nice to have extra game okay so that's the caddy uh, for this one I can put this hard drive back because I know what this hard drive is from just from Xbox one um, 1540 model so the fat one yes it's okay so this is to disassemble this one we need to take off this card that's a front panel card we need to take off um, this card that's a Bluetooth Wi-Fi module we need to take off a drive and need to take off power supply well we don't have to take power supply to be true we can still work without it well, I've got light on on the scope okay. so we get this uh, now of course the power supply should be good because uh, because it's switched on the console so I wouldn't go farther to examine why it didn't now I need to swap with a smaller bit these are torxes by the way it's too warm in this room Let's see how loud it will be a bit of a nature Hopefully it's not too loud. If it's too loud, just skip it until we can examine the board. Okay, three screws, screw three. Okay, so if these three screws are out, we've got one last one. Here.
The one last screw has a different color and it's longer. So it's worth to know it and it's the top one. So we get three at the bottom which are black, like this. And then you've got this uh, above the middle one. So that's good to know. If you never done it, you might not know it and then it might be an issue. And then we've got two screws missing here. Um, and why why that was the different color over there if you don't know because somebody was inside and they didn't put these screws properly otherwise you would have only black screws over there nothing else it's just that the person who done it they didn't know what they were doing and that's why you've got different screws yes normally <coughs> you wouldn't have that okay so now if you if you can see here if you've never done it you've got those plastic elements you see which are uh, out of the metal chassis yes so the best way is to push them out with your fingers just to push it yes do we have more here no not on this side but before we will do it you know with pushing it you get those for this side you get those four screws these are the smaller ones as well so it should be the same screwdriver oh because they are holding the motherboard together with the chassis one i like to unscrew them the opposite way uh, why because there's least pressure only on one side so the pressure is going quite equally and the same when you screw it back do it the opposite way it's like do it the one then on the other side here and then make the cross out of it yes so that's the best way and that's your one s with the last screw on this side here voila okay so now as i was saying you remember those pins on this side is a one and there should be second one i remember they had to, okay it's here so here and here yes so let's go to the other side and if it won't go easily oh, i've got this element i've forgotten about it plastic element ah and they had here a uh, there is missing metal element here to stabilize the USB socket. How it's going? It's going quite okay. So let's look for the other black pin that's out and that, that one is not out. Okay, so in order to take it away, yes, you need to better to push uh, with your finger here on this black one if the motherboard doesn't go too, too well. So now we've got this motherboard and we should see for um, any like uh, damages so visual inspection is the first first thing to do so in order to do visual inspection we need a large flat screwdriver like this and we need to attack it from the side so change the side because i'm i'm used to certain alignment of those screwdrivers so then i'm going i'm going on the side yes and making sure i'm not touching motherboard or anything and then i'm popping this up and then i'm going to the next one and the same i'm going from this side and using leverage you see, it, that's to lose. That's to for me looking like somebody was here, like literally somebody was opening it. And then the thermal, it's dry thermal paste. Oh no, it's not that dry, but on the sides it is. So they even didn't bother to change the um, the paste, which is bad for me because if you put something together, at least you should give it a good wipe. And let's clean up. Okay. Now let's uh, 
now that's a disassembled motherboard and I'd say that there's a, there's maybe a time to do diagnosis okay so I've got one two um, and three motherboards probably so I will do maybe another recording for the um, for the diagnosis uh, because the video is quite long and uh, if you want to look into diagnosis uh, then I will I will uh, ask you to because that's uh, that's repairs yes so that's assembly disassembly um, but I'll put motherboard diagnosis playlist so uh, that, that way you know you will know that it's Xbox One S diagnosis yes uh, and look for that video in the uh, in the playlist thank you guys and see you in the next video bye bye